That'll be good on it. Whenever we got that done, I went and got a load of rocks and brought it down here. And I've just got it smoothed out. What I've done right here, temporary, <clears throat> I'm wanting to put a trench drain in here, but I'm going to have to cut this 
slab of concrete crop through there. But for now, I dug all this out right here about probably 16 inches maybe. And then I dug the backhoe bucket width right across the front of this concrete. And then I dug a big hole over here too and filled all that up with rock. Uh, hoping that'll help, help on the water situation for now. But this right here that I've got is 24 tons. I'm gonna need some more, but it's a good start. I have moved, give you an update on that, I have moved a lot of this dirt beside the building, down over the hill. I about, I about got it all gone. I was doing some measuring, I was doing some measuring there a few days ago, and if I put a 20 foot shed on the side of this building, I think I'm gonna have about probably close to 40 feet in front of the shed. So that ought to be plenty enough room to to get in and out. And I feel the grade ain't ain't perfect right here. So I'm gonna have to take some more of that off, but I'll do that a little long as I've got time. Something else I done a couple days ago is I cut out the rest of this tunnel and got the rest of this floor took out of here. I got it took completely out and cut it off right here. Got all that gone. Got a sidekick with me today. I've been moving a bunch of this stuff that was around here on the side. All this plywood and stuff, and I've done moved part of it out of here, was uh, the dividers and stuff for the firing crates that was in here. Whenever we took the crates and stuff out, we just stacked them up beside the walls for the time being. They was all around the walls, but uh, I don't have a whole lot of stuff left to move. And whenever I get it all moved, I'm gonna take, and whenever I wash this floor, I'm gonna hit the walls and just hit everything in here and, and really wash it down. So it's starting to come along. My lights, they're supposed to be here today. Uh, I've not been home to see if they've come in, but they're supposed to be here today, so that'll really brighten that up in here a lot. So it's starting to come along and looking pretty good. I've got enough rock down here now that uh, I can get in and out of the building without tracking anything up or getting stuck when it rains. I like to take, there's, there's a bunch of creek gravel and stuff already here, so it's pretty solid up here on top, but it's still pretty squishy down in here. That's the reason why I was using these bigger rocks, these are 23s. But eventually I'd like to get at least one more load and and put more right in here to give me a little more area to pull in and back in but that's got me a pretty good start so it's uh it's looking good and coming together but anywho that's going to do it for this one thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one